Every town has its own heartbeat, it has its own values, it has its own uh, personality, and you see that every day in every way from the interactions with the community, the interactions with our students, the interactions with our parents, the interactions with our staff. There is a cohesive bond between those who are working in the schools and those who are part of the community, and we feel that our heart here at the school is part of the heart of the community. So we just want to make sure that we're all working towards the same goals. One of the things that I love about being a principal at Campbell is how connected we are to what the district does. There's such a systematic, cohesive uh, approach put forth by the district, starting with the board and the superintendent, uh, and that will certainly continue. And I think in that vein, with the possibility of expanding Kinder, half-day kindergarten to full-day kindergarten. I know that the kindergarten teachers and all the faculty at Moss do such a wonderful job already. So having an additional half of the time added on to the day to think about the benefits of what that will have for us in third, fourth, and fifth grade, it's one of the most exciting things to me. Being able to uh, put forward a full-day kindergarten program uh, is, is a, a measurable benefit. Currently, Moss is arranged in a way where it's a big U, and so the big construction addition would be to turn that into a two-story rectangle. What we would end up doing, uh, essentially, would be to add a first and second grade wing. Uh, on one floor would be the first grade, and the next floor would be the second grade. And in kindergarten, going full day, we would expand some of them into where the central offices are now. So everyone kind of have, has their space and sort of their home, uh, but then there's incredible opportunities for second graders to work with kindergarten and first grade to work with pre-K and, and for the kids to work uh, across classrooms and exchange uh, you know, ideas and interact uh, in ways that right now it's not going to You know, I think the long-term piece is sustainability. And so I think bringing in those three pieces would enable the mall school to go to levels that right now are just incapable of reaching uh, because of the limitations of time and space uh, and the demands that it puts then on, on everyone and every student and every staff member. Very exciting, uh, this referendum. There's a couple of things that uh, will certainly benefit Campbell and the district uh, in general. We have some wonderful uh, physical changes happening uh, to the building. One is, and one of the first things that I've noticed in hearing from the community uh, about Campbell is we've had some drainage issues out on the playground and in the field. We have a beautiful field at Campbell. Uh, the passing of the referendum will allow us to address some of the drainage issues. More developmentally appropriate grade alignment more opportunity to uh, maneuver in classrooms, but then also to have efficient practices, like making sure that children have ample time to eat. And then the other thing is to make sure that we right-size classrooms, given that we're a little space challenged right now. Sometimes we have classrooms like the science lab that don't get to have full experiences with the lab setting, and passing of the referendum will ensure that each and every year we're able to do, we're able to do that. The first thing I would do is, you know, certainly listen to anybody with trepidation and talk about some of the things that we're excited about for the referendum at Campbell. One of the major parts of the referendum is the realignment of grades. So currently we are a school fifth through eight. We will be um, sixth through eight, which will make it a true middle school um, for our students to have a true middle school experience. This will also allow for um, more space. So teachers, more teachers will be able to have their own classrooms where they can have more resources within their classrooms rather than traveling. Um, we'll also have space for smaller group instruction. So many times, if a second teacher or co-teacher wants to pull students out, they, we have to look for spaces for them. This will allow for that. We will have designated small group instruction. Um, our new cafeteria will allow for our schedule, our lunch schedule to change. So right now, our first lunch is at 10.30 in the morning, and our last lunch ends at 1.42. So our students are, some of our students are eating really early or really late, which means that they have to have snack during the day by having less lunches, because we'll have bigger space the cafeteria, it will eliminate the need for snacks, um, which will increase instructional time. Our current main office will be moved to the other part of the building, 
to what is considered the back now, so it'll be a nice front. And where our main office is now, we'll have two larger classrooms, which will allow for self-contained students to have a larger space for themselves. Um, and it'll allow, with the space, the traffic in the hallway will be less. That's one of the biggest, we've had focus groups with our students, and one of the things that they've mentioned is the traffic in the hallway. So it, this will allow for, um, Less students, less traffic, so it'll be a lot better for our students. I think it's going to change the flow of our building, actually. With the closing of the front and the back corridor with the other cap, uh, so that we actually have a square flow, will allow our students to walk through the schools a lot easier. Um, it's kind of hard to get through the the building right now going back and forth if you have uh, something in the English wing in the first period and then the second period you have something in the science back wing and then you have to go upstairs for the third period it can be really tough so uh, the traffic flow itself is going to improve greatly it gives us some opportunities to have a little bit more flexibility with uh, classroom movement and uh, teachers not having to go from classroom to classroom every single period of the day. Um, they'll have a home base, which is also very nice for uh, the teachers and the students. Um, the one big benefit that we're seeing or we'd like to see is the increase in our cafeteria space, uh, the ability for our students to have lunch together and uh, eat lunch in two periods as opposed to three periods which we currently have is going to be a nice change with our referendum uh, the other piece that i have to highlight is the possibility of us having air conditioning in all of our classrooms that's going to help uh, create a more calm soothing and cool environment for our students and our staff which is really important for everybody's ability to focus in on the learning. The third piece of the referendum identifies the addition of another gymnasium, which is a great piece for us to also experience. Uh, we'd have a larger gym space with appropriately sized uh, ceilings so that we could actually play regulation volleyball in there, which I know is something that a lot of our students are interested in doing. Uh, will also help to uh, provide some more opportunities for the public for additional uh, gym space here in the district, which is at a premium right now. So having an additional gym space is fantastic for us and for our community. Having adequate space for inclusive programs is really essential and it benefits all students. So a few years ago we passed the mental health referendum and we added staff and I think that the expanded space in each building provides adequate space and better space for us to maximize these services. The clinicians, the school psychologists, the counselors can then provide small counseling groups, target counseling groups and they can all provide services simultaneously to different students. They wouldn't be limited by space which would be of tremendous value to all of our students. Like any change there's uh, uh, some trepidation uh, that people um, you know could possibly have and that's again like with any change but allowing for the offering of third fourth and fifth grade to have more of a developmentally appropriate, to have an elementary offering for fifth graders that will be at Campbell School if the referendum goes through. These are all wonderful offerings, and of course the great faculty at Campbell really in touch and are, are on board with that. Campbell Elementary School is a wonderful community school. Seeing Campbell Elementary as the best version of itself and the best that it could possibly be makes the community better and the surrounding area better. So that's what I would certainly want to focus on. I think a school is really important part of the community. It improves our community drastically. And I think that um, even though it's a building referendum, it'll increase our academic success in many ways. I think that this referendum offers great benefit to all students in the district, the entire community. I think it would be a wonderful change to look forward to and would bring a lot of positive improvements to our school district. So I think there's a lot to offer, a lot for the community to consider, and a tremendous amount of benefits. We're focusing in on the space itself and our ability to accommodate small group instruction, 
whole group instruction, um, accommodate additional meeting spaces. All of those pieces will be very important in uh, helping us better serve our students and better serve our community. You know, I, I look at what we're currently doing and I think we're one of the best school districts in, in the state and the nation. So I think about what it means for this community in the long term is to create the optimal scenario, but do it in a way that's sustainable. And so that investment now begins to feed and build upon itself year after year, decade after decade, generation after generation.